With this season's uptick in RSV, pictures and comments like these are pouring into the 11 Alive social media pages. So what is RSV and who's at risk? Well, for starters, those letters stand for respiratory syncytial virus. Wellstar pediatrician Savon Hines tells us the top five things you need to know. First, the main difference between RSV and other illnesses. It's a virus, so it is not a bacterial infection, so you can't use the antibiotics to treat it. Two, how is it spread? Like most infections, it's transferred through sneezing, coughing, and touching. Hand washing is always important, but especially with trying to prevent getting RSV. RSV can actually stay on someone's hands for hours. Three, who's at risk? While the virus is common, children and elderly are the most vulnerable. But it can cause some critical illness, particularly in young children, um, children under the age of one, or those children who have a chronic medical condition. Four, what are the symptoms? Wheezing and other cold-like symptoms are also common with the elderly population. And five, why has there been an increase? Every year we see a large amount of RSV. Dr. Hines says the peak time for RSV is between December and April. And just because those numbers may slightly rise or fall each year doesn't indicate a bigger or lesser problem. And Dr. Hines also says follow best practices like limiting your child's time around other sick people. And that includes not taking them to the ER unless absolutely necessary. Coming up at six, find out why most doctors don't test for RSV. That's a top question parents had. So on the one hand, it's good that we're out of school, but people are still getting together over the holidays, Latasha. That's right. And they're playing past the baby, Cheryl. They sure are. All right, Latasha Givens in the newsroom. Thank you.